Hi, welcome to the Power 30. I'm Jason. I'm substituting for Teresa today, and uh, I won a contest to see Napalm Death Obituary and Machine Head here tonight. And uh, right now we're at the Rock and Stock in Montreal, and uh, down in the basement, Machine Head and Obituary are signing autographs. So you know, we're gonna check that out first. We're just gonna talk to a few fans here that are lining up to get autographs. <laughs> the death metal scene uh, cool in Montreal? Yeah, really cool. What, what's the venues like for death metal? Is there a lot of local talent, a lot of bands play down here? Well, uh, death metal is getting better now here, but there's, uh, on the contrary, there's a lot of bands coming out from, uh, not exactly from Montreal, but from around, you know? I don't know, I hope it gets better and better. That's what we need. All right, we're gonna go downstairs and uh, check out Machine Head and Obituary down in the Rock and Stock. We're in Rock and Stock, and this is just like the coolest store. I haven't seen such a cool store like ever. And uh, no, we're just going to talk to the workers here. Hey guys, uh, how are you? How how come this store is so cool? Like, do you sell a lot of death metal and stuff? I sell a phenomenal amount of death metal, actually. It seems to be the capital of North America for death metal. Okay, you have like every release and you know you have a lot of imports yeah, and really cool stuff. In imports. We, yeah we specialize in imports so we have a lot that other stores don't have so that's why everyone flocks here even from all over the place we get calls from California and um, do you do, do you do mail order yeah we do mail order as well so a lot of hard to find items yeah, and a lot, of, uh, a lot of black metal a lot of doom coming from like Norway and yeah. places like that, that really all the fab stuff man you find it right here So we're going to have a few words with Obituary first. It's uh, John and Trevor of Obituary here. First of all, one thing I noticed is that uh, on the new album, it's a lot groovier. And, you know, it's not, it's it's still just as heavy, but, you know, it's a lot easier to get into. So I don't know. We've always had kind of a little groove in our music, if you, you know, in the past. But I don't know. We just do some drum beats we'd like to hear, you know. One for it. We took a uh, lot of time to write the new album. You know, it's been a while since the last one, and uh, just took our time with it and really got you know down what we really like to hear. So. Another thing I've noticed is on the new album, um, it kind of moves away from the sort of death. Um, aspect and it has a lot more kind of on politics and pollution. You know, a lot of people think that death metal has to deal with just one thing, and you know, we just like to, uh, you know, let everybody know that it's expandable. You know, there's a lot of different uh, directions death metal can go into it instead of just a traditional gore type album covers and subjects. So, uh, it's just different. How does like obituary want to be perceived or whatever, you know, in the whole scheme of things? As obituary, pretty much. I mean, they don't need to label us or nothing. We're just a band called Obituary, and we play extreme music. You know? Yeah, we'd like to really try not be grouped with everybody else. You know, we like to uh, think that we're our own band and unique enough not to be just be, you know, grouped along with every, you know, every band that comes out in our, you know, style of music. So. We're also here with uh, Machine Head, and we're gonna ask him a few questions. You guys come from the Oakland, California area. Can you tell us a bit about, you know, how it is kind of coming out of that area? East Oakland, California, and it's uh, <coughs> just a hard neighborhood, man. It's rough to survive and high poverty level. Lots of crime. Uh, <coughs> lots of good bands, and uh, it's just a trippy place. Do you think? Uh, Coming from that area kind of inspires the more aggressive side of your music? Definitely, especially with Rob's lyrics and stuff. The main point 
of it all is just trying to say, you know, like whatever problems you may have, whatever pain you may be suffering, be it, you know, messed up neighborhood, messed up parents, messed up life, however it may be, you know, the, the single thing that's going to get you through it is yourself, you know, just being like strong from the inside, not like muscle strong, but I'm talking like head strong. You know, that's what's going to help you out of your out of your struggles. I mean, there's a lot of topics we cover on the album, but that's like the overlying topic, you know, strength from within.